he didn't want to buy into a higher interest rate. And I tried to tell him interest rates are going to be lower and he could just, you know, marry the house and date the interest rate and, you know, he can refinance later. Who cares about all that? They don't want to do anything right now. Quit trying to get them to. Have you ever wondered why most agents fail? Maybe they don't have a big enough why. Or maybe it's... Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing super well today. I wanted to do a motivational video for you, and this really applies to the current market and the current situation that most of you are going through right now. This is from a clubhouse session that I did today, and I gotta tell you, I was incredibly fired up just thinking about what's going on inside the mind of agents right now. So here it is. Subscribe, enjoy, and let me know what you think in the comments below. The, the, the market, you know, quote unquote changing, right? Did it not change from 2018 to 19? Absolutely. Did it change from 8, 19 to 20? Yes, it did. Did it change from 20 to 21, to 21 to 22, to 21 to 23? Is it gonna change in 24, 25, 26? It changes every year. What's the difference? The people that were complaining about no inventory last year are complaining about too much inventory this year. If you're a complainer, if you're gonna blame the market for your uh, uh, misfortunes and, 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 and you're, you're not being able to sell enough property and stuff, then you're not gonna make it. Your success is not predicated on the market. There's 4.8 million sales happening this year. The reason why you're not getting any is because you're sitting around saying there's no sales or the market's changing and you're making excuses. That's not, that's not a good place to be, ladies and gentlemen. You need to be the person that says, let me get out here and help these, these 4.8 million people. There's look in your MLS. Count the closings that are happening every day and multiply that times two. There's a buyer and a seller on every deal that needs a real estate agent. If you're sitting around saying there's no deals, look in your MLS and realize they're by the truckloads. Right now is the time, ladies and gentlemen, that you, you grab and acquire so much market share. The reason why I sold 100 properties in 2014 and every year since is because I took advantage of the market in 2008 and went all in on just building relationships with as many people in my market as possible and doing a weekly email. Boom, that simple. Figure out what your simple uh, systems are and put it in place and just realize one thing, the gatekeeper to every single closing is a real life conversation. I don't care where you get your leads from. And until you realize that, quit trying to sidestep that. I don't care if you cold call, get Zillow leads, Facebook, uh, Instagram, open houses, networking. I don't care where you get your leads from. You gotta call them or nothing's gonna happen. So if you're not sitting in a room calling a list of people every day to see what you can do to help, get to know them, put them in your database and weekly emails, social media, whatever you do, whatever your system is to stay in touch with them, if you're not doing it, then nothing's gonna happen. If you're sitting around complaining about the market, and worried about this, oh, my seller doesn't wanna do anything because you know, interest rates are higher and he's locked into a lower and he can't find anywhere to buy anyway and he didn't want to buy into a higher interest rate and I tried to tell him interest rates are going to be lower and he could just, you know, marry the house and date the interest rate and, you know, he can refinance later. Who cares about all that? They don't want to do anything right now. Quit trying to get them to. Listen to them. That is not your person today. That is your person tomorrow, next year, two, three, four, five years out. Tell them you want to stay in touch. Tell them you understand the market's not favorable for them right now. Quit trying to figure out how to get them to close. Keep going. You're going to find people that are closing deals. Again, echoing. 4.8 million this year. How many of those are you going to close? None. Because you're sitting around saying nobody wants to do anything. Interest rates are higher. Okay. Where are all these 4.8 million deals coming from? Multiplied times two. 10 million people. So you got to really love what you're doing. If you don't love real estate, and helping people buy and sell properties. If you don't get a high off of having a great conversation with someone, regardless if they buy or sell or not, then chances are you're not, you, real estate may not work for you because 90% of agents fail. To be, to just to barely squeeze by in this business, not to be a million dollar producer that makes a mil or two mil or three mil or even a half a mil, just to squeeze by barely paycheck to paycheck, you gotta be in the top 10% of the people who get your license. 
So if you're not in it to win it, if you're not committed, if you don't love doing this, if you don't love people, and you don't love the grind, what side of that statistic do you think you're gonna be on, the 10% or 90%? Back to your comment about going to get a job, if somebody's not motivated, a broker asked me, he was like, I got agents here, not motivated, not doing what they're supposed to do. They know what they need to do, but they're not doing it, which I would say is probably 90, the 90% who fail. They know what to do. All the secrets are out there, but they're not doing it. And I said, well, listen, here's how you motivate them. Tell them to go get a job. Tell them to go get a job roofing houses, working at McDonald's, um, serving tables, cooking at it, all the stuff I did. I, that, I'm telling you all the stuff. I roofed houses, worked on the oil rigs, served tables, cooked in restaurants, concierge, delivered pizzas, cooked pizzas, landscaping, wrote, framed houses, painted. I, I, I can't even think of all the jobs I had, you know, growing. I did so much stuff. I had so much, so many different um, things that I was into. I've done all that stuff. And then, honestly, one of the things that drove me was the fact that I never wanted to go back to one of those occupations. And so sometimes you gotta think, would I rather sit here in the air conditioned environment and just click a few buttons and talk to people to get to know them and see how they're doing today and what in the world I can do to help them in terms of buying or selling real estate, again, in this air conditioned, incredible environment? Or do I want to be forced to go clock in somewhere that I hate put on a goofy clown outfit and flip burgers all day until they tell me I can leave for literally pennies. It's all these options and choices everyone has. You can choose to do whatever you want. If you want to be a, an incredibly successful real estate agent, every single person can. There's not a single, I've seen the goofiest, um, unskilled, untalented, non-social people go out and crush it in real estate. I'm talking like 30 listings in their first month. People that I thought would never make it. Every single person has the opportunity to crush it, but it's up to you if you're gonna take advantage of the opportunity and realize the things that you have to do, A, and B, go do them and think long term. It's like eating a hamburger. You eat a hamburger, you don't, look, you don't look different tomorrow. You don't look different next week if you eat a hamburger every day. Next month, you don't look that different. After a year eating hamburgers, you look completely different. Same thing as if you eat a salad. You eat a salad every day, after a couple days, no difference. Week, no difference. One year, big difference. Same thing here. You make calls for a week, not real different. Make calls for a month, not real different. Make calls for a year, big difference. You got a business on your hands, ladies and gentlemen. But nobody wants to look a year out, two years out, three years out. They want to try, they want to, they want to say, oh, after three months, I haven't gotten anything. Meanwhile, they've connected and had great conversations with 400 people that are gonna, like 20% of those are gonna do business with them in the next two, three, four, five, ten 10 years. And the more they continue adding to that list of loyal clients that are gonna do business with them for the rest of their life, the larger their business is gonna be and the more momentum that they're building up. But most people quit before they get to the point where they have that business and they see the light that if they just keep going, and that's the problem. And if you wanna go back and, and work a nine to five, be my guest, that's your choice. It doesn't affect me one way or another. All I can do is go to sleep every night knowing I did all I could do to help you be one of the 10% who makes it in the business. The rest is up to you. I can, I can lead you down to the water, but I, I, I can't dunk your head in the river. That's gotta be your decision. I can't make the calls for you. I can't show the properties for you. I can't communicate to your clients that you care about them. You gotta do all that.